Have you ever tried a skincare product that made your skin worse? Darker marks, more breakout and burns? Now, if you've got melanin-rich skin, it's probably not your fault. Hi, I'm Dr. Inky, and today we'll be covering why most over-the-counter skincare doesn't work for people of color. Because skincare isn't just one size fits all, it's when the industry ignores your skin's biology, resulting can be quite damaging. However, before I continue with this particular video, we realize that most of you are not subscribed to the channel. So if you wouldn't mind, just hit that subscribe button. It will help push more videos like this to someone like yourself. Now in today's topic, top five reasons why most skincare fails for people of color. Reason number one, hyperpigmentation is a different beast. For people with melanin-rich skin, every pimple, scratch, or irritation can leave behind a stubborn dark spot called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, otherwise known as PIH. That's because melanocytes, the cells that produce color, are more reactive. Harsh exfoliants and picking your skin can make your pigment factory go into overdrive. So the common mistakes is overusing strong acids or scrubs. They will end up triggering more pigmentation. So what helps? Niacinamide 5%, azelaic acid, and low dose retinol. Avoid physical scrubs and high concentration alpha hydroxy acids like glycolic acid and lactic acid. Do you know that most skincare was not made with your skin in mind? They are formulated and tested on fairer skin tones. So when you react badly, you will typically get blamed for it. But you're not the problem. The industry just did not include you. Reason number two, dangerous ingredients in skin brightening products. In many markets, brightening creams contains hydroquinone or steroids without disclosure. So the short-term results is you can actually get brighter, lo lighter looking skin, but there is long-term damage, skin thinning, rebound pigmentation, and lifelong skin sensitivity. So instead, you should opt for things like kojic acid, transdynamic acid, and vitamin C anywhere between 5 to 10%. As a person with colored skin, which products made your skin worse? Did you know that lasers can change your skin or even ruin it? Wrong lasers leave permanent burns, pigmentation, and scars. Now, that leads to reason number three, the wrong laser, the wrong outcome. If you have dark skin, you should avoid this sort of lasers. Fractional CO2 lasers, IPL, and traditional Fraxel. These lasers produce an insane amount of heat that is incompatible with darker skin tones. These lasers will end up making your skin condition even worse. So what are the safer options? Opt for things like NDX 1064 laser, Moxie laser, microneedling, and PRP. And more importantly, to ask if the clinics have sufficient experience in dealing with skin color, which is darker, before starting any of these treatments. Reason number four, the sunscreen myth. More melanin means more sun protection, but generally it's not enough. UV still damages collagen, triggers pigmentation, and increases the risk of skin cancer. So look for SPF anywhere between 30 to 50, broad spectrum, and tinted mineral formulas with iron oxide. Avoid thick white cast zinc unless you're layering with makeup. And reason number five, algorithm traps. Social media typically pushes trends not made for your skin in mind. Example, slugging with Vaseline on an oily skin, that would trigger acne. Secondly, daily acid layering, not for your skin. And number three, 10 step skincare routines which are meant for dry skin. So what actually works for skin of color? Now here is a typical routine that you should try for melanin rich skin. Number one, a gentle cleanser with no fragrance. Number two, treat it with niacinamide, azelaic acid or low dose vitamin C. Number three, moisturize with ceramide moisturizers. And number four, use tinted sunscreen SPF 30 to 50. Now, your skin is strong, resilient, and deserves better. The problem isn't you. It's that the skincare world isn't built for you. Now, if you have learned something, like, share, and subscribe, and comment below which skincare product made your skin worse. And remember to always stay healthy, stay safe, and most importantly, stay informed.